This weekend marks the 20th anniversary of a very sad day in Tampa Bay history. It was May 19th that Hank Earl Carr murdered Tampa Police Detectives Randy Bell, Ricky Childers, and Florida Highway Patrol Trooper James Crooks. News Channel 8's Jeff Patterson was there that day. The day started right here with Hank Earl Carr shooting his girlfriend's child. The four-year-old died. Then police arrived and detectives Bell and Childers interviewed Carr at the house about what led to the child being shot. Eventually, they took Carr into custody. But as they drove back to Tampa Police Headquarters, Carr escaped his handcuffs, took the detective's handgun, and killed them. They were great people, great family men, great dads. Kevin Durkin worked on the homicide squad with Bell and Childers. They were funny guys, razor sharp, quick wit. That day, he was called to investigate their deaths. My assignment that day was to um, investigate the crime scene where Detectives Bell and Childers were in the car. After killing the detectives, Carr drove north on the interstate, where he was confronted by Trooper James Crooks. Carr killed Crooks, then fled to a shell station just off of the interstate. Jim Diamond was on the Tampa Police bomb squad that day and worked with the Hernando Sheriff's Office to capture Carr. And the sheriff told me that, uh, in his opinion, uh, Mr. Carr was not coming out. And uh, Sheriff Mylander was one stand-up guy. Diamond's team set off an explosive charge so the SWAT team could enter the building. The explosion killed Carr. Diamond doesn't regret it. It's a day members of the media, Tampa Police and the Florida Highway Patrol, will never forget. Jeff Patterson, News Channel 8.